Altanic K10 Review After my Altanic K10 5.3 QT air fryer arrived, it was easy to set up. Connected the fryer to both the Altanic app and the Smart Life. The controls and 11 pre-programmed cooking cycles for the fryer are located on the top, where they are leveled for ease of cleaning. The digital panel reveals the temp and cook time with great clarity. Although notice dust display easier due to the shiny black surface, do appreciate that the controls are in plain view and can be easily accessed from the top. Furthermore, K10 will send a notification to your phone if food is ready or needs to be shaken up this has come in handy since often go about business while food is cooking, then forget to check whether it's prepared. With a desire to give this fryer an impartial evaluation, turn to the recipe book that came with the fryer in order to try some of the recipes they had listed. Turkey burgers with Asian slaw, which reminded a lot of something made from a Hello Fresh meal kit. It consisted of ground turkey, panko breadcrumbs, green onion, hoisin sauce, sambal ulek, and ginger. After mixing together the ingredients to form the patties, doubtful that they would all fit into the basket due to their sizable size. Surprisingly, they all fit quite well. The basket's size is greater than what it looks like and according to its advertisement, you could even fit an entire chicken in it. Even if that is so, there might be a problem in regard to its height considering the bird's dimensions. Following the instructions closely, place the patties into a preheated air fryer and waited for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This, mixed together the sauce for an Asian slaw and toasted some ciabatta butts. When the fryer beeped, reached for my instant read thermometer to see if they were cooked, it read 115 degrees Fahrenheit so put them back in for another 10 minutes. Upon completion of that cycle, they were done even though they didn't look char grilled on the outside. Perhaps because the preheated basket cooled off too much while loading. Despite that, my resultant burgers turned out excellent. So flavorful and moist. Preparing hamburgers using an air fryer really is a breeze. Presented with the task of making coffee streusel muffins. As always, follow the instructions carefully and create a dense, mixable batter that was put in individual foil baking molds. Unluckily, during creation it takes a phone call, likely causing the muffin mixture to lose most of its rising ability while inside idle. Nevertheless, continued on and popped them into my Altenic K10 5.3 QT air fryer basket at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. These fell short of the declared cook time, so added an extra 6 minutes and checked if they were done with a toothpick which came out clean. To be sure that one remained perfectly cooked, set up a solo 12 minute bake for the last muffin, it turned out much better than the rest as it was taller and finished in time. In any case, all tasted fantastic. At this moment, needed to ascertain that the air fryer warmed up to its prescribed heat since two recipes that were made had taken longer than anticipated. It might have been due to cramming the basket or likely not having a grate at the bottom of the container for the turkey burgers, thus diminishing air circulation. 